Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today is the last of my two team reviews. Uh, tomorrow we'll be going back to the one team a day, but as you know, as I've been away, we've, I've had to do a couple a day to keep up with the timeline. So um, today is the last day of the two teams. Today we'll be previewing Gold Coast and GWS. So we'll start with Gold Coast, uh, the first, uh, the team who has the only new coach this year in, um, in Stuart Jew, former Hawk and Power player. A couple of premierships with him, so hopefully he can do all right taking over the reins at Gold Coast. Um, yes, yeah, so I coached by Stuart Jew, captained or co-captains, um, I should say, by Stephen May and Tom Lynch. Um, I'll start with the ins. They have Harrison Week from Adelaide, Aaron Young from Port Adelaide, and Lockie Weller from Fremantle. They're the trades that they picked up. Um, and they also have Will Powell, Charlie Ballard, Braden Crossley, Connor Nutting, Josh Jasker, Nick Holman, and Mackenzie Willis. Those last three, uh, Jasker, Holman, and Willis, were from the rookie draft, and the others were from the regular draft. Um, the outs, they have a few delistings, quite a few delistings. Um, Jared Grant, Mitch Hallahan, Keegan Brooksby, Ryan Davis, Cameron Lorsch, uh, Daniel Curry. Trent McKenzie and Matt Shaw, and also McKenzie Willis. Sorry, I forgot that last one there. Um, and a couple of other, and a few uh, trades. Obviously, the three ins, I've got three trades out. Uh, Adam Saad has gone to Essendon, Brandon Matera to Fremantle, and the big one, the huge one, which is the reason for how I think they'll go, which I'll mention in a minute. Uh, the trade out of Gary Ablett back to Geelong. Um, so yeah, I can't see the Suns going any good at all this year, to be honest. Um, I um, mentioned the other day with Brisbane how I think they'll be down the bottom, I think. Um, I really think it'll be 17, 18. Gold Coast and Brisbane, or Brisbane and Gold Coast, one of the two, I think they'll both be down the bottom. I just think uh, Gary Ablett was their, you know, their guy to, if they were winning games, it was off his boot and his hands, and um, I just think without him now, they don't have enough players to step up who haven't been relying on him to step up for them, I guess. So, um, yeah, I really do think they'll be down the bottom, which is disappointing, but, you know, this new team thing, you know, as as you know, Gold Coast and GWS are the two newest teams in the comp. GWS has worked, but Gold Coast just hasn't worked, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, that's just how things go, I guess. Um, they're at $151.00. For the flag, another team down at $151, along with Brisbane, of course, and there's a few others which I'll mention in coming days. And, yeah, as, as I said, they'll be down the bottom. It's just, without Ablett, they just, I just don't think they can do it. They have got one injury coming into the season that, that this person won't play in round one, and that's Harrison Wig who is an in from Adelaide. Um, he won't play round one. He's got a bit of an ankle injury. So it's not just he won't be playing, which is disappointing for the Suns. But, you know, that that's how it goes. And, yeah, even with Wiggin and the Aaron Young and Lockie Weller and stuff like that, I just think it's just it. It's... As I said, they're just going to finish down the bottom. That's, I think that's just how it is. So, um, moving on to GWS. Coached again by Leon, uh, by Leon Cameron, another Clarko's commando. 
and co-captained by Callan Ward and Phil Davis. Uh, $7.50 for the flag could win, but um, I don't know, it could happen. I mean, they almost did a couple of years ago. They made the prelims before they were just beaten in the prelim by a goal. But, um, yeah, they uh, they could do it. They're not my pick, but obviously, you know, my pick's Geelong. But, you know, they could... I think they will go deep in the finals. Maybe a prelim, maybe a semi. I, I don't know. But, um, I guess we'll find out. Um, so the ins that they have are Lachlan Keefe. He's a delisted free agent. He was delisted from Collingwood and picked up by GWS. Uh, in the draft, they've picked up uh, Aidan Bonaire, uh, Brent Daniels, Sam Taylor, Zach Giles Langan, and Nick Shipley. And in the rookie draft, Dylan Buckley. So, um, yep, hopefully these these boys will be able to get uh, get some game time and, um, yeah, play some good footy. Maybe even play in the premiership, you never know, so... Uh, Cyril Rioli played a premiership his first year. That could be the same for one of these guys, but obviously I don't think that I don't think that's going to happen. Um, they're outs. Uh, the delisting of Joel Patful. Uh, he's unfortunate for him. He's been he's played for a lot of years through Brisbane and now GWS. But um, yeah, that's it for him. And the retirings of Tom Downey, Steve Johnson, which is huge. Uh, Tendai Mazungu, Shane Mumford, which is pretty big, and the trades out of Nathan Wilson to Fremantle, Devin Smith to Essendon, and Matt Kennedy to Carlton. A um, couple of big losses in Steve Johnson up forward and Shane Mumford in the ruck. Obviously, they weren't at their peak in the last couple of years, but they still had an impact and going to be missed, I think. Um, yeah, so now they have a couple of injuries, uh, a few, uh, five injuries to be exact. Um, Zach Williams has an Achilles injury, tore his Achilles. Um, he will be out for most of the year, which is unfortunate, but that's kind of control injuries, obviously, so that's unfortunate. Uh, Toby Green hurt his toe. He broke his toe before the International Rules uh, series and he won't play in round one. He'll be out for a little while. Uh, Rory Lobb, a, um, a groin injury. And Matt Buntine and Adam Kennedy, both with knee injuries. So none of those players will play in round one. Um... Yeah, it's in unfortunate, but hopefully they can still do all right in the first few weeks before those guys come back, and you never know. So, um, round ones, I forgot to mention for Gold Coast, round one is North Melbourne. It's kind of a battle of the lower teams in round one, so it really could go either way, but I think North will just, just edge them out. I just think without Gary Ablett, um, they really have to adjust to have, like, the game plan without him. They've done quite well, and they will do quite well, sorry, with uh, Stuart Jew. They've done well in JLT. I don't really rate JLT, but, you know, they've done quite well. So I think they should be okay, but I just don't think they'll... N and not this year, I think it'll be next year that they'll really shoot up. And GWS have the Bulldogs, who will win. Bulldogs will win, I think. It will be another tight match, but, um, yeah, Dogs will win, I think. I don't mean to say that the, that the Giants will go be down this season. They'll make finals. They'll definitely make finals, as, as I said before. Go deep in finals, but I think they will start 0-1. Alright, so that is my previews of Gold Coast and GWS. Um, comment below how you think these teams will go. Whether you do think 
whether you, whether, how much you think, sorry, Gold Coast will miss Gary Ablett and whether you think um, the Giants will go deep in finals um, and if, um, if not, how far they'll go. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe and see you guys tomorrow back to the one team a day previews. Alright, thanks guys.